say hello to the BitTube TV. So before we get started, I want to go ahead and get out of the way that this is not an official BitTube product. This is my own project that I've put together outside of any relationship with BitTube. The only thing that I have got is consent from the BitTube team to use the logo. Again, I'm not affiliated with BitTube in any way, nor is this product affiliated in any way with the BitTube brand. Now that that's out of the way, you might be asking yourself, what the heck am I looking at? Well, I'll tell you. You're looking at the world's only custom-built, hand-assembled BitTube TV. Now, I call it the BitTube TV. My initial intent was to watch BitTube videos wherever I wanted to go on a larger screen. As you can see here, it's a 7-inch touchscreen in a small form factor case. So let's see if it'll do what I want it to do. Hello everybody, my name is Matthew Gray and you're watching 99 Cents. I'm acting as like a, some sort of crypto broker where I'm trying to give you tips, right? You're gonna go do it. I'm just talking about why I want to actually drop in somebody from our company to actually start things. But we've already got users on that. Views on BitTube, you will be rewarded. You'll be rewarded quite a lot of money. And I'm getting, if we're talking about views again, because like I haven't done any. While your body weight, there's really nothing else a defender can do, in my opinion. Here's Carson able to come. I want to start this video off by sharing with you. A very powerful. So we've established that you can watch your favorite BitTubers, like this guy, Northeast Texas Technologies. You should really check that guy out. I heard he's pretty cool. All right, shameless plug aside, let's get down to business. So what you're looking at is a Raspberry Pi B3 Plus, which is the latest version of the Raspberry Pi has the latest and greatest hardware. So it has the Broadcom chip in it. It's the quad core 1.4 gigahertz with one gig of DDR2 memory. Wi-Fi, it does 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. It does have a gig Ethernet port as well as a full-size HDMI and four USB 2.0 ports all accessible from the back. It also has Bluetooth if you want to listen on a headset. So I will put all of the nerdy, geeky information in the description below if you're into that kind of thing like myself. As you can see, it is a touch screen. Or you can use a wireless keyboard and mouse like I'm doing with it uh, but as you can see my Wi-Fi at the house is 50 down and 20 up so based upon this I'm about 25 feet from the Wi-Fi access point in my home um, and I have two other people in the house using uh, the internet right now so the fact that it's going through two walls and it's about 25 feet away and we got two other people using the internet connection uh, I'd say that's pretty strong so the wireless is extremely good on this thing uh, if you want the best uh, use case uh, like I said before it does have a gigabit Ethernet LAN port so you can hook it up directly to um, a wire Ethernet connection. Now, as you can see in the uh, pictures and the other video, it does change color. 
And it's not just red, green, and blue. It can do white. It can do yellow. It can do pink, purple. I know the colors look a little off in here, and you can see a little bit of flickering. Uh, and that's because of the camera, um, not what it's actually doing in real life. So based upon the color and the LEDs that I'm using uh, and the frequency, it's flickering in the camera just a little bit. But in real life, uh, the colors are very solid and very bright and very vivid. Unfortunately, you can't pick it up with this web camera that I'm using to film this. But uh, you can see in the pictures that I've provided uh, how vivid and how bright uh, it actually is. It's got some different strobe features that I think are kind of nice. Again, sorry for the flicker. It's not really doing that in real life. You're just viewing that through the camera's eye there. It's kind of a neat one. All right. As you can see, uh, I can do multiple things. Uh, if you want to play games, browse the internet. Uh, if you're familiar with Raspberry Pi, you already know all this stuff. So you can play games on here. And this is just the basic build out. I have not added any apps to this. Uh, I have not added any programs. So you're more than welcome. Uh, if you had one of these units yourself to do whatever you wish with it uh, and the thing about Raspberry Pi is it's very versatile You want to play Minecraft you could You can actually with a Raspberry Pi. There's several different well There's a multitude of options that you can take with a Raspberry Pi um, This particular model has 32 gigs of memory you can up that um, to a higher amount if you like um, you can change the operating system if you wish you can uh, watch videos on it you can browse the internet you can look at the charts let's go ahead and do that really quick let's go to coinmarketcap.com as you can see, it's very, very responsive. That quad core uh, is very responsive. So you can look at the charts. You can even make this into a Nintendo emulator. So I just ordered my dinner for the night. So if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, let's talk about it. So if you're interested in getting a BitTube TV yourself, pay attention to the next couple of minutes because it's going to be really important. I'm going to give you instructions on how to reach out to me. The first thing that I want to talk about is the price. Now, I've got a lot of time into designing and building this first prototype model. I'm going to be doing a pre-order of 10 units. If I don't have enough interest and I don't hit that magic number of 10, then I'll just squash the project. With that said, I've got a lot of money tied up into this, designing the first models, putting it together, uh, going through different prototype models. So the first run is not going to be cheap. I understand that not everybody is going to be interested at the price point that I'm about to tell you, but if you understand the amount of work that I have to put into each one of these units, hand built, hand sanded, painted, printed, the printing and assembly with all the paint and sanding alone, I'm going to have about 20 hours in each one of these units. So if I'm going to do that, one, the electronics are not cheap. Two, 
I'm not going to do it for pennies. And three, I've got to make my money back. In future runs, if there's enough interest and I do a second or a third run, I can bring the price down. As of the recording of this video, I am only accepting tube coins as payment. And the price will be subject to change as the price fluctuates on a daily basis. So by the time you actually make payment, it can be different than what I'm about to tell you. So the tube price per unit is 8,900. So 8,900 tube coins will get you a tube TV. That price also covers shipping anywhere in the world. And understand what you're getting. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm pretty straightforward about what I'm doing and why I do it. So this is a hand-built, one-off model. There is not going to be support. I can answer some questions via email, but there is not any kind of support. Again, this is not an official BitTube product. This product is being sold through Northeast Texas Technologies. So don't bug the BitTube people. If you have an issue, come to me and I'll do my best to take care of it. But there is no implied warranty. And if you get the unit and it's broken in shipping, that's something completely different. But if you drop it after six months, there is no warranty. So be careful with the unit. So after saying all of that, if you are interested and you want to have one of these for yourself, you go to my website, which is www.northeasttexastechnologies.com. I will put the link below in the description for you to find my website. But it's pretty easy, northeasttexastechnologies.com. And I want you to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, and you see the contact form. So put your name, last name, your email address that I can get a hold of you at. The subject will be BitTube TV. So remember, BitTube TV. Then you can put whatever message you want. Yeah, I'm interested. Let me know what to do or whatever message you want. Please give me some time to get back to you. If you don't hear anything for a couple days from me, don't worry. I will reach back out to you, but depending upon the interest level of this project, uh, it, I might get right back to you if there's not too many people, or if there's a lot of people, then it may take me a couple days, so just be patient with me. But send me an email and let me know that you're interested in purchasing one of the units, and what I'm going to do is collect the money for the 10 units purchase all of the materials, put them together, and then in four to six weeks, I will ship them out. Remember, guys, these take around 20 hours a piece to put together. At this point, there's no reason for me to go out and try to find a manufacturer or someone to farm the workout to because I have no inclination at this point to make a high volume of units. So, if you were one of the first 10 people to reach out to me, you can be assured that you will be able to get a unit. All right, guys, so that's it. If you're interested, reach out to me on the contact page of my website, which is at the bottom of my homepage, and I'll get back to you with instructions on how to send the tube coins. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like it. And if not, it was fun, and I enjoyed putting it together. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you soon.